Welcome to today's video. Welcome to Bormio and the hot chili dolomites. Look at this. So we've got four days of pretty hard climbing. Um, Sven is having some work done to his bike to make it slightly, slightly easier. I'm fitting a derailleur with a longer cage so that Sven can have a huge a dinner little gear to get up these <laughs> incredibly steep mountains with. Good morning, Sven. Good morning, how are you? Welcome back to the videos, it's been a long time. It has been a long time, but you've been traveling so much so we can't keep up with you these yeah, days. Yeah, it's my fault, I'm sorry. It is your fault, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're looking forward to the next three days? I am in a kind of sadomasochistic way. <laughs> if you just look around you. We've got a lot of climbing. We've got a hell, hell of a lot of climbing. I think the, uh, the frightening thing is, I was looking last night, is our village, Bormio, is at 1,250 meters, and all the climbing is upwards from there. And it all goes up to basically every day we climb into the kind of 2,400, 2,500 meter level, which obviously is within the snow line. So, and there's no easy climbing. We're going to be feeling the effects of the altitude, I think. Um, I think we already are. I think we are. Yeah. I think we was, it, was it the drinking the last night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Charlotte, what have we got on the cards today? Today we are wrecking the top. France is very, very close. This so this morning we are wrecking the time trial, um, which we will be riding tomorrow. Um, and a potential uh, coffee, uh, a coffee route for the way home. Why are people doing a time trial tomorrow? Um, well, we have 50 riders come out from the cycling club with us. Um, and tomorrow we will separate uh, the men from the boys. Ooh. And the women from the... Girls. <laughs> 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 what was that? I didn't hear. <laughs> that is nonsense. Isn't it? it was nonsense. It's not a <laughs> Let me take a selfie. <laughs> Your selfie face, man. <laughs> It's, a, not it's, like I'm, it's like I'm cold and at two and a half thousand meters. It is a bit cold up here, isn't it? Let's get back in the let's get back in the car. Yeah. <laughs> so we've just come back down that climb. We've got one more route to Recce. It's a real nice climb, loads of switchbacks. Let's see how the legs are doing after 600 k So you're dressed as a ninja again. Yeah. We're doing some pretty monster climbs coming up. Have you, you've changed your cassette, right? Yeah, yeah. What size uh, cassette are you running? I must confess it's the size of a dinner plate. That's uh, allowed. Yeah, it is allowed. Spin in to but, win. But, you know, most people would probably ride a medium compact. So let's say 30, 36 on the front. So I've got a 34 on the front and then a 32 on the back as well. So that should, that should get you up a 15% climb in theory. Yeah. Okay. And give yourself some credit, you're riding 28s, which is very slightly slower. It is slightly slower, yeah. but I mean, that's marginal, I think, in the whole scheme. Yeah. When you're talking about 84 kilos versus 28s. This is going to be mega. This is going, this is going, going to be, be mega. This is going to be a good, a good little test. So I don't think any of us have ridden this climb before. Charlotte knows the most about it. Apparently very, very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Did it look nice? Oh my god! This is, I mean, the 32 already. Already. We and we've just 15, turned off the climb. 15 meters into the climb. So, as Sven said, Bormio is already at 1,500 meters. So, we're pretty high up when we start climbing. Every day is going to be over 2,000. This climb's pretty big. Lovely switchbacks. Pretty chilly, but I'm sure we'll warm up over the next few days. It's supposed to be getting to 16, 17 degrees. Nice. How are you feeling, Maura? Puffed. <laughs> <laughs> like a beer. <sighs> yeah, the air is extremely thin. Oh. You can feel it. Yes. Or you can't feel it. That's the problem. Yeah, there's just not enough here. Um, but it's beautiful when I bother to look up from the tarmac. When I look back and look up, I will be chuffed. <laughs> Very chuffed. Did you enjoy that in the van? Um, infinitely more than I would have done if I was on my bike. 
I, I don't know why the van just started then. Yeah, that was weird. Wow. I thought you just, you don't want to be filmed. Like, it's, um, yeah. What's to take me away from the camera part? <laughs> well, I'm going to go and look at the lake. Um, I'm going to just sit here, wait for you, <laughs> come back. Makes it all worth it, doesn't it? That was a stunning climb. Not a car on the road. Except for a van. What'd you make of that, Sven? Dog's bollocks. <laughs> Absolutely the dog's bollocks. Do, do, do Not a car on the road! To do, do, do a climb like that with views, stunning, and come to the top and I've got gravel. <laughs> oh, your favourite thing. <laughs> oh, perfect for you, It was bike. made for Sven. Yeah. yeah indeed. Well, look, I, could, I should have brought my bigger tyres. Crikey. Oh, yeah, you've only got 28s. Yeah. Good recce. Yeah, really good. What do you think? I think good. I think good too. Yeah. As you know. <laughs> right, Sven, ride number two. Ride number two. Already so this on is, the road this is this is uh, going to be the serious one. This is called the Grappa ride. Yeah. And basically, you know, the famous go, climb, the Grappa. The Grappa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a 9.1 kilometer ride. And uh, Francis, this is where we introduce you to Grappa. I can't wait. Let's go. You're checking them out for grappers. I'm looking up. I mean, what did we do before we had this stuff? Oh, I have no idea. We're trying to find the grappa bar, exactly. I bet we just stayed indoors. Unbelievable. <laughs> What did you think of the Calder Grappa right in the middle of that? A pretty decent. Pretty decent. Yeah. Fastest route. It's back towards the river, isn't it? So it's, I think it's right here. So will this be your first Grappa? Yeah. I'm so excited. I think, I think we're going to have to film him on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Three? Three bees. See, we nearly went wrong. We, we nearly got apple juice. We nearly got apple juice. <laughs> <They're> all... <Yeah. laughs> the photographer will get better, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> Bene, multi Bene. Three people. Do you, know, do, you know, do you notice we drink with our helmets on? Very Safety important. first. Safety first. Safety first. Yeah. Yeah. So we've just left the bar, we uh, rode down the road, and Sven has already forgotten his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two it's grappers and he's lost it completely. <laughs> Mate, you alright? Yeah. You're yeah. riding tomorrow? I've, well, I hope so, yeah. What's up? I just had um, a little bit of an argument with the car. Really? Yeah, yeah. And I've come off worse, so, yeah, so I'm going to have to be on some good stuff tomorrow. <laughs> the good gear. Yeah, he's got, I'm sure he's got some like. He's got some under the counter. Testosterone, he's got, yo, <laughs> he's got everything. Growth hormone. Yeah. Yes, it's a bit sore, so I'm feeling a little bit sorry for myself, but we should, we should say, at least it's relatively flat, isn't it, tomorrow? So. Yeah, it's just one mountain. Well, hill, isn't it? What have you got? No. Oh, you got it? You got uh, check, check the lid, first of all. What is it? <laughs> nice gift off one of the ride captains, yeah. actually. Slow me down for tomorrow. It's D2 did this. So, oh, go on. Let's <laughs> say gear in. This is the is vegan. Um, Rafa Micah, it was. He, he was desperate to come past me on the descent, so I kind of let him past on a corner. And next thing, literally 10 seconds later, he's on the floor in front of me. And uh, yeah, nowhere to go. And didn't my collarbone. Uh, didn't want to accept it at the time. The, the team doc got out of the car and he was looking at me and, like, you know, pushing a bit. And he was like, ah, oh, G is broken. He's Spanish, by the way. It <laughs> uh, sounded a little bit Welsh. That was my best Spanish. Uh, and uh, I was like, nah, are you sure? He's like, gee, it's broken. I was like, ah, well, I'll just do a few Ks, see, just see. He was like, it's broken, G. <laughs> but anyway, so I, I got back on the bike, went, did a few corners, and it was like, yeah, this is sore. And then my buckle had actually popped open on my shoe so you know bent down to tighten it back up and uh, had all my weight through well my collarbone and everything and yeah I definitely knew then it was broken. A couple of little quick five um, questions for you again before I let you go. 
Milan San Remo or Paris Roubaix? Roubaix. Giro or Vuelta? Giro. Track or road? Road. Cobbles or climbs? Oh. <laughs> uh, climbs. Only a Not at this moment in time, but <laughs> <laughs> when I'm 68 kilos, climbs. Mallorca or Tenerife? Tenerife. Ooh. Controversy. Just one big, one big climb, isn't it? Yeah, I've just been to Mallorca so many times, it's just boring now. <laughs> I don't know. In Mallorca. Uh, flat stage or flat white? Flat white. Welsh cakes or carrot cake? Welsh cake. Good man. All right, thanks very much. Good man. What do you reckon? What do we reckon Nick's going to do? You reckon oh. he can beat him? Nick's going to beat um, Nick's going to beat Garrett up that ride tomorrow. We just need to word Garrett to make sure he just sits behind him and pushes him up there. But yeah, definitely, Nick's going to smash Garrett into the ground. Absolutely smash him. Tomorrow, Nick. Who's going to win? Tony. No, 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 no. So, plan for tomorrow. Time trial up the climb we did this morning. G's going to join us for tomorrow's ride as well. Finally recovered from the two big travel days. See you in the morning. <laughs>